Give your hands together. Yeah, give them together. <laughs> For Greg Sharp. Thank you. You're wonderful. How are you? Good? Fantastic. And I'm so glad to hear that. You guys like old movies? I like, I've been watching a lot of old movies lately. My favorite one from the 80s is Top Gun. You guys like Top Gun? Yeah. I love that movie. Top Gun taught us that fighter pilots have all of the coolest nicknames. Remember what they were? It was Tom Cruise's character. They called him Maverick because he was a maverick. <laughs> a little on the nose, right? He didn't like rules, that guy. And then there was Iceman. They called him Iceman because he had a really icy disposition. He wouldn't have a nice conversation with you. He wouldn't go out for coffee with you unless it was an iced coffee. <laughs> and then there was Goose, and they called him Goose because he ended up splattered on the windshield of an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Something's confused me. I still don't understand why we still have turnstiles some places. Like, we didn't walk through any turnstiles to come in here, but other places like a ball game or Cedar Point or Menards for some reason. <laughs> Turns I don't understand it. Like some places there's like, look, we're not letting you in until you rub your crotch on our pole. <laughs> Menards is stupid. <laughs> you agree with me? Okay, good. Now I understand Lowe's, I understand Home Depot, those make sense to me, but Menards feels Canadian, right? It feels different to them. It's just a little bit strange. Like, they sell everything that you would expect at a hardware store. You can get plywood there. You can also buy milk. <laughs> Who's going to Menards to buy milk? Probably the same people that are going there to buy the romance novels. You can get those there, too. I can get plywood and milk and romance novels all on the same shopping trip, but I can't get any of them until they rub Menards on their pole. <laughs> I'm a weird person. I have awkward interactions almost everywhere, like in this very bathroom over here. In this bathroom, there are two urinals. There's a regular-sized urinal for the uh, regular-sized humans, and then there's a shorter one next to it for any kids that come to this show, apparently. <laughs> and I went in there just now, and there was already somebody at the tall urinal, so I, I walked in, and I, I stood there, and I said out loud, Ah, oh, yours is bigger than mine! <laughs> This will be my last show here. So much. I have awkward interactions almost everywhere, like at the deli, because they always ask me questions there I don't know the answers to. Like, how thick do you want that? I don't know how to answer that question. That feels like a personal question, doesn't it? How thick do you want it? Huh? No, I just, all I know is that I don't want to be known as the guy at the Kroger who likes his meat extra thick. <laughs> No, I, they don't help you out at all. How thick do you want that? There's not a number system. There's no frame of reference. There's no way to answer that question other than, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Like, nobody's going to the deli asking for an inch of bologna. That's gross. No, so I, I don't, I, I still haven't figured out how to answer that, but now I've started ordering things that they can't answer. I'll take a week's worth of provolone. <laughs> Uh, uh, give me 5,000 calories of the potato salad. <laughs> I'll take uh, twice as much salami as the next guy wants. <laughs> Slice it all lengthwise. <laughs> That's it for me, people. Thanks so much. Have a great night.